Hello everyone, I'm Nate Asher and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. To start off the episode, I promised you guys I'd show you the poster. So, here it is. Looks pretty cool. By the way, if you do get posters and you don't want to, like, if you're pinning them up, because I, uh, I usually pin mine up with, um, like, thumbtacks, if you don't want to poke holes in your posters, you can get these, um, these clips, you know what I'm talking about, like these, and you can just clip it on the poster and flip the front one down so it's not just sticking up, but then the one that sticks up in the back, you just put a thumbtack right through there and just hang it up, you never have to poke a hole in your poster. So, anyways, without further ado, on with the video. All right, here we go. So, um, I just wanted to show this off. I think it's pretty cool. On the um, the save menu screen, you can uh, when you click on your your save data, it tells you or shows you everything you have, which most of the games do, um, at least to some extent. And then, um, but it also tells you like your your current objective, which I think is cool because a lot of people when they play Zelda, they don't. Um, the complaint is that they don't understand what they're supposed to do, and I think this is helpful for new Zelda players uh, because it, it tells you what your objective is if you have forgotten. So, um, at least the main objective. So search for your missing loft point. You know, it doesn't tell you where to go. It doesn't spoil anything, but it gives you an idea of what you're supposed to be doing. So, without any more gibberish, let's start. Let's see. Hang on. Let me. Uh, I need to adjust my camera real quick. There we go. Now you guys can actually see how freaking tired I am. <laughs> All right. So, search for your missing loft wing. What up, dude? Something wrong? What's the big hurry? What? Your loft wing is missing? But I just saw him. Bruce's bird was chasing off after your feathered fella. What? Which way? Uh, I think, uh, well, to be honest, I don't really know where they went. Well, thanks, bum. You've been a big help. Um, I'll be in touch. Alright. So, wait, what are you doing? Hold up, James. Hey, hey, James. Could you help me with something? All you have to do is dash and roll into the tree, just like I've been doing. Dash, then when you're in front of the tree, bam! Do a roll right into it. So, come on, please. All right, GG. Woo! Oh, you did it. A sky stack beetle. Wait up. Oh, my sky stack beetle. So close. Oh, well. To catch it, I would need a bug net anyway. I wish I hadn't thrown out the one I bought at Beetle's Air Shop. Aww. All right, so we're gonna have to get a net from Beetle's Bear Shop. <laughs> Beetle's Bear Shop, yeah, Beetle's Air Shop. Eventually, uh, but we can't get him down right now because we saw him flying around, but he's got that bell that we have to ring. So we're gonna need like a slingshot or something. Wait a minute. There's Groose. Hey, I heard your bird was chasing after my bird. You know, Groose, that sure was a pain, what with all the scratching and pecking. Of course it was. You thought a big crimson loft wing like that was going to go down without a fight? But we got him, and I don't care how tough those birds are supposed to be. He's not getting out of that pen anytime soon, boys. Uh, whoa, J uh, James, so, uh, yeah, 
Uh, just how long you've been standing there. What's your problem anyway? No oh, way, I got it. You're talking about today's race. I can see it in those dopey eyes of yours. They're pleading. Oh, Gruz, can you please find it in your heart to let me win today? Please! You're just desperate to win so you can get some alone time with Zelda up on the statue of the goddess at the end of the ceremony. Well, sorry, pal. Gruz doesn't do charity for wimps. My advice? Work hard. And wish with all your heart, you might even come in second. Say, come to think of it, how come I don't see your bird? Where is that scruffy pile of red feathers? Can't imagine what could have happened to him. You think his tiny brain got confused by all the clouds and got lost? Bring it on, man. <laughs> sure. Only thing is, I don't know how you're gonna do that with no bird. You gonna grow wings? You know, we're all getting tired of how you never let anyone forget how you and Zelda go way back. You've been friends since you were kids? Big deal. Doesn't change the fact that you float through life with your head in the clouds. Did you wake up? Straighten up and grow a backbone already? Dopes like you are dragging our honored academy through the mud. And just who might you be talking about, Groose? Oh, uh, Zelda, hey, no, it's, uh, uh, Don't even try it, Groose. You're picking on James again, aren't you? He's a student at the Academy, like all of us. What? Oh. Why do you insist on bullying him around so much? Yeah, uh, I, I suppose... You suppose? Suppose what? <laughs> uh, I, uh... I suppose you are. Uh, forget it. I wasn't supposing anything, okay? Okay, we're out of here, boys. Later, James. Hope you find your bird, or else you're gonna have to sit out today's race. It could be a major setback towards knighthood, so find that bird or get real used to the taste of failure. It's your special flavor. I hate to say it, but I'm beginning to suspect that those blockheads had something to do with your loft wings disappearance. James, those guys aren't going to help us find your birds, so we'd better start searching. I'll fly around si eh, I'll fly around Skyloft and see if I can spot any trace of your bird. Father said he talked to Instructor Horwell about delaying the start of the wing ceremony, so don't worry, we'll find your bird in time. Thanks, man. Hate to see you go, but I love to watch you leave. Alright, so, still gotta find the bird. What up, man? What's wrong, James? What? Your loft wing is missing? That's terrible. I was so looking forward to seeing that red blur streak through the sky. No, no, I haven't seen him. Hmm. Why don't you look for him by the statue of the goddess? You'll have a good view of the whole town from way up there. The statue of the goddess is the great big statue in the north of Skyloft. It's at that place with the X mark. Okay. You know how to read a map, right? Yeah, I know how to read a map. Thanks. Alright. So. Statue of the goddess. Let's, let's go. You haven't seen anything, have you? What's up, James? You seem to be in a hurry. What's this about your bird? Oh, that unusual crimson loftwing? Have I seen him? I'm sorry, I haven't. 
Why don't you look for him by the statue of the goddess? You have a good few. Okay, yeah, that's what everyone's suggesting. So I guess we better go to the statue of the goddess. And that guy finally fixed the gate, I guess. Hey, James! Over here! I have some information about your loft wing. Come over here. Well, how convenient. Hey, James, I was looking for you. I heard your loft wing has gone missing, so I thought I'd join in the search. And get this, when I asked Fledge what he knew, he started acting weird. I'm so sorry, James. I really wanted to tell you, but if Groose found out, I told you. It sounds like Groose forced him to keep quiet about it. Go on. Tell him the truth. Just a little while ago, when I was cleaning the dining hall, Groose and his buddies came in... They didn't notice I was there and started talking about their plan to hide your loft wing. I wanted to warn you, James, but just as I tried to sneak away, Groose and his gang grabbed me. They said that if I told you, they'd make sure I would never be able to ride a bird ever again. Sounds like Groose and his buddies had a plan to capture your bird and hide him near a waterfall. Well, near a waterfall would mean... Quick, let's take a look at your map. Right... That's it, right there. I think it means the waterfall marked here with the X. Okay. Forgive me, James. I can't help being such a coward. I'm really sorry. Alright, uh, yeah. Oh, one more thing, James. If you're going out to the waterfall, remember, there's some dangerous things there. Creepy, crawly things. You'll need to carry a sword. I think I saw the night commander go into the sparring, sparring hall a while ago. You should go ask him if you can borrow one. Dope. Getting a sword. Hey, it's James! So you still want to get in some sword practice even though today is the wing ceremony? I'm impressed. The sword's in the back room. Go on, back there and get it. I'll be here for a while, so if there's anything you don't understand about hanging the sword, go ahead and ask. Will do, Egus. Thank you. Sorry, had a bit of a hiccup there. Not sure if it came out on the recording, but my OBS froze up. You got a practice sword. The students at the Night Academy practice with these. It looks like it has a fairly sharp blade. Alright. Dude, I have to equip it with my gear? Hang on. There it is. Alright, that's a log used for practicing your thrust. Move yours. <coughs> Sorry, it's switching back and forth through all these voices, really. That's a log used for practicing your thrust. Move your sword sharply forward to thrust. If you need to know more about that, check help. Alright. Sword sharply forward. Hang on. Dude. There we go. That log is set up for practicing your diagonal slash. Swing your sword diagonally to cut right along the ga gash in the log. Okay. Dude. 
I did it. That log is set up for practicing your the same freaking thing, just the other way around. Are you stupid? Why are you asking me this? Dude, I never... Oh my gosh. I feel really dumb right now. I never even, like, noticed that there was stuff drawn on here. I just thought it was random markings. What is that? Is that, like... Dude, you know what this is? That's a freaking Bokoblin or a Bokoblin. They're usually red. We'll run into those later. That's funny. Oh, I better read. That's a log for practicing your vertical slash. Hold your sword straight up and then swing it straight down to make a clean cut. That's a log for practicing your side slash. Hold your sword horizontally and then slash it to the side to make a clean cut. Nice. That's right, James. You really are a strong swordsman. Easy to teach, too. You make this instructor proud. Are you ready to try a spin attack? <laughs> I've been ready, man. Great, now I'm going to surround you with logs. Use a spin attack to cut them all without moving from that spot. Nice. Good one! That sure looked like it felt good. So why don't you try a fatal blow to close up our session? Sure. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Alright, when our enemy is down, target it with ZL and throw yourself at it to land a fatal blow. Do a, a side slash on that log and when it's down, try finishing it off with this technique. Alright. Boom. All right, target, and then boom. Nice. That's the way. A fatal blow is also an effective move to use right after you've used your shield or a well-placed spin attack to knock an enemy on its back. Oh, but monsters don't stay down for long, so you have to land that fatal blow quick before they get up. Got you, buddy. Hey, James! You can't take swords outside of the sparring hall. What do you think you're doing sneaking out of that? What? Your loft wing's missing. You want to go look for it? Well, I guess I can make an exception just this once. But remember that Skyloft is a people place. Only knights carry swords. So I don't want to see you swinging around like crazy out there. I want to get in a ton of trouble over this, so here's the deal. Make sure you get plenty of practice on these logs first. And once you get outside with that sword, only use it when you absolutely have to. Got it? Yeah, sure, man, whatever, cool. What up? I got a sword pivot. I think you'll make it in time, James. I'm such a wimp. I'm so sorry. Pivot, I got a sword. Listen, as an upperclassman, I've got some advice for you. There's something you should always do before you go somewhere dangerous. You should find a bird statue and send your prayers to the goddess to save your progress. Make it a part of your routine. The bird statues you can pray to are marked on your map. It should be easy to find one. Alright. Alright guys, let's go find our loft wing. Oh wait, I forgot one thing. Where is he? He's on here. Hmm. Maybe I'll be under there later. I'm talking about uh, Professor Horwell. 
you get something from him later. Yes, what the? Did you hear the news? One of the students in the wing ceremony has lost his bird. It's gone missing. Oh, really? That's terrible. To tell the truth, I'm not comfortable around birds. It's their talons. They look so sharp and painful. Alright, so you guys are just going to chill in the way. That's cool. Waterfall. How do you... Can you go faster? Go faster. Go faster. Alright. Waterfall Cave, beware of blood sucking monsters, no kids allowed. Hey, it looks like I cut it, but you still can't go through. I don't know why it does that. Really picky. One of the things that uh, was annoying about Scott Red Sword, like people say, like the motion control suck and stuff, because like you do stuff and it still doesn't let you do it. I don't know. Nice. Oh, it skipped the other cutscene because we got the ruby. Yeah, this is another annoying thing that people talk about is that like it gives you a cutscene for everything you pick up every time you come back after not or after saving. How the heck are you doing a freaking front flip like that, <laughs> Link? Lightning bug or firefly. Come on, come on, lamp, lamp, whatever. We need a bug net, like bad, <laughs> dude. That's what I wanted. Jelly Blob. Those things are hard to get. Like, you can kill so many of those. Uh, those. I don't know what they're called on this. And for some reason, they went with a lot of weird names on here. I'm just going to call it a chew, because that's what it really is. It's a chew. From Zelda. Oh, dude. Dude. Grasshopper. Come here. Red Ruby. Okay, we got another uh, Keys Talon. Give me more Jelly Blobs. The reason I'm trying to get all this stuff is because we're going to need it for materials later. When, like, you have to collect materials for monsters and stuff this is like like i said skyward sword really this is like skyward sword's first debut but like this is the linear version it's got all like this new stuff like stamina bar stuff like that uh goddess statues what have you but um, and it's even on the Wii U, which is like a handheld slash console thing. Um, okay, that's a lie. It was on the Wii. Sorry. Um, 
but you guys see what I'm talking about. Like, it's got a lot of things in common with, with uh, Breath of the Wild, like the material thing, because you get materials from enemies, but in Breath of the Wild, enemies were a lot more uh, prevalent in the overworld. And... In uh, this game, they are not as common, and they also don't always drop um, materials, which makes grinding like a lot harder. So, all the grinding that we're gonna have to do for this game, which is a lot, I'm gonna do off screen. So, don't worry, James. Hey, James. I was hoping I'd find you here. I heard you gone searching for your bird around the waterfall, so I thought I'd fly around and help you look. How's your search going? Any sign of your loft wing? Oh no. Well, let's not lose hope yet. There's a place up ahead that Gertrude and his gang are always hanging around. Maybe we'll find something there. Huh? Who? Who's that? Who's calling for me? Oh, sorry, James. I got distracted for a moment. Let's go. Alright, so now we got Zelda with us. She's going to follow us around and help us find our Loftwing. It seems like she's also hearing voices, which is kind of weird. I wonder what that's about. I guess we'll have to find out in the next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching in this uh, episode of The Legend of Zelda Discovered Sword HD. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. I would really appreciate it. And um, feel free to share on Facebook and whatever else. If, you have, uh, if you're have, you in like groups on Facebook and stuff where they like Zelda and everything like I am, you know, feel free to share this. And um, yeah, if you are enjoying and you're not subscribed then go ahead and subscribe too it's free and you will get notified uh, whenever the next episode gets uploaded so i'll be get, see you guys then and as always i've been nate asher